Saracunda Annex Lower Basic School. If you all um, have followed me for a while, then you will know that this is the first school that I started volunteering at. And we are here with the headmaster, Mr. Jatha. Yes, thank you so much. So he's showing us, the last time I was here, we didn't have these desks. These desks weren't here. So they got new desks. You know, um, schools in Africa, we always need tables, we always need chairs. One of the songs is, you know, we need new tables, we need new chairs, we need new books and pencils so we can learn to read and write. Um, so we need all of these things. Yeah, we need all of these things, football. Yes, football. <laughs> yeah. So we are, we're trying to, we're going to raise money. This is going to be the next project, the Saracunda Annex Lower Basic School is where we're going to uh, raise money. This will be our next project to raise money for pencils, pens, and books, and other things. Um, once we get the shipping taken care of, then you all can donate socks, and clothes, and shoes, and book bags, but we have to get the shipping taken care of, especially from the West Coast. But Mr. Jocko is showing us, they got a new blackboard. This was donated. So one of the, the things, um, one of the issues that one of the teachers was telling me is because we have school in the morning and the afternoon sessions. So if someone uses this in the morning, they don't want to delete it, they don't want to erase it because in the morning they go over what they taught the day before. But for the morning and the afternoon, both teachers need the blackboard. So they would erase it. And then the teacher has to come in and write all over it. So this is really good because this could be for the morning or afternoon. And they can use both. So this is truly a blessing. So I'm going to, um, Mr. Jata has shared with me how many students are here. So I'm just going to let you all know. So, I will share this in the video so you can see it yourself. But for the morning shift, male students, 496. Morning shift for females, 670. The total is 1166 students. Afternoon shift is 709 students, is more. And then uh, 709 male students, 832 female students, totaling 1,541 total students for the afternoon shift. So all together, it's 2,707 students here at the school and 115 teachers. We'll talk about that later because we want to do a teacher's workshop, but that's not for this video. So we are looking to give, to, yes, to give um, 2,707 2, students books, pencils, and pens. So my beautiful people, Travel with Tay Tay need y'all. I'm gonna count, we still have books left over. We don't have any pens and pencils left over, but we do have, I'm gonna calculate it, but I do know we have over a hundred dollars, US dollars, which is about 5,000 Delasi, estimated, about a hundred US dollars to um, donate for this project. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has kept giving. You know, giving back to Telling Day, that project was over, but you all kept giving. So we went back, you'll see in the video, we went back to the school this morning and gave the students, the students that didn't receive books, books. And because it's exams, one of the classes was empty. So we reached out to um, Mr. Um, Ture for him to let us know what students did not receive books. Because we don't want to miss anyone. And now we're doing the Saracunda Annex Lower Basic School. So thank you so much for our people who donated, for the people that donated. Thank you so much for the future donators. We totally appreciate you. See you soon. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So when it's raining, when it's raining, the rain comes through and they have to close the classroom down because they can't study. It's, it's too much rain. What we would love to do is get some of our brothers, our strong brothers, hey, hey. to come over here hey. and fix it the way we do Habitat for Humanity. Okay? Yeah. So give me a second. Let me finish Come recording, on. okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you, see, you see the holes in the in the roof? You see the holes in the roof? So when it rains, we know rainy season. Get down. Sit down. Sit down. So when you're a rainy season, you know the skin is all excited. Auntie Maimuna got to raise some money for the school. Okay. As you can see, we need new tables. We need new chairs. We need to renovate. So Mr. Jata said roughly 180000 to renovate the whole building. That's in the last year. 180000 is about, maybe about three or 4000 U.S. dollars, right? We can raise that, y'all. We can totally raise that. However, if we can't renovate the whole building, how about we try to get the roof fixed, right? If we can get the roof fixed, no, it's 400000 to renovate the whole building. My apologies. 400000 to renovate the whole building. hundred, About 180000 Delasi. I'm speaking of Delasi, y'all. So if you want to know U.S. dollars divided by 50, I will put it on the video. But 180000 Delasi to fix the roof. If we can get the roof fixed, then the students can come in and they can, they can study. They won't have to close the whole building during rainy season. So thank you so much, you all. I'm gonna show you this one too. Hey, hey. Hey. 
So one of these rooms we can't use at all. You see it's closed. I remember one of the teachers telling me that we couldn't use this room because it was unsafe. We, you know, I know in America we take education for granted. Some of us take education for granted. We just like, oh, send your children to school. But education is so important. I got to the continent off of my education through college. I received over $10,000 worth of scholarship money to study abroad in Namibia, Africa. So, with that being said, if we could raise some money to get the roof fixed, the students will have somewhere to study even during rainy season. So thank you so much for those who are going to donate, for those who have donated, for those who want to donate but don't have the money, right? $5 will even help. We appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, I need to get this